Hey beautiful people and thank you for joining me for the next day of my 30 day challenge. Um, I really appreciate you coming and putting up with this mug every day uh, and supporting me in this exciting challenge. So um, today I'd like to speak a little bit more about my health crisis. So as you remember from yesterday, I've been diagnosed with adrenal fatigue and gone through the yo-yos of denial um, and you know, learning how to manage it and live with it and make it my mate, the monkey on my back, rather than the bag of bricks that I felt like I had on my back. Uh, so moving from that, my symptoms started to change a little bit. My flare-ups became a lot more pronounced. Everything was just ramped up to intensity of 10, uh, and I suddenly started having a lot more pain. So I'd get deep searing muscle pain before it'd be burning. Now this was something that if I stayed still for a little bit or was sitting for a little bit, it would just start to really creep into my shoulders, deepen into my hips, get into my ankles. All of my joints would just burn and ache really, really deeply. Uh, and I was also waking up in the morning with a lot, a lot of stiffness. I just could not get going. And in general, I've lost my flexibility a lot and just was really, really stiff as a twig. Um, so I was sent to a specialist. And I actually thought on the way down, oh great, this specialist will maybe just confirm that I have adrenal fatigue or maybe they'll come up with something else and go, oh, you've just got this bug, take this drug and you'll be fine. Uh, I actually ended up coming out of that office with not just a confirmation of adrenal fatigue, but instead I walked out with two illnesses instead of one. So she um, ended up diagnosing me with fibromyalgia. This was an F word I was not familiar with. And I really was, um, the appointment was about two hours away from where I lived. And I remember just being in the car and I was like, I'm okay, I'm all right. And then about an hour into the trip, I just burst into tears and poor Justin just looked at me like, you okay? And I went, I didn't come here today expecting to come home with more illnesses. I was, I was expecting to come home with a quicker solution. Um, and it was, yeah, just quite devastating for me. So I felt like a lot of the head work that I had done in the last few months was just back down to zero and I had to start again by, um, you know, reading all up about this condition and going, oh gosh, this seems even worse. This is even more overwhelming. Um, and yeah, it was just a little bit scary and terrifying there for a bit. I had nowhere to turn really. I had a great support network and I will talk more about my beautiful tribe later on in these videos, but they were invaluable. But at the same time, you still feel like nobody gets it. Unless somebody came up to me and went, I'm your age, I've got fibro, I've got adrenal, I know what it's like to have the double whammy. Um, and, you know, you could talk about it really, really openly with one another without feeling like you're being a sad sack. And I was brought up to never, ever bring the tone down. I was not going to be Donkey from Winnie the Pooh. I was trying to be the positive person and that this was just really, really testing me. Um, so my quote for today is from another amazing, inspiring woman. All of these people feature on my bookshelves and have featured in my life's journey along the way somewhere and some of them are just steadfast companions and I have never ever left them. And this is another woman that has come with me along my journey and just been an absolute inspiration. I think she's an amazing woman. It is the one and only Miss O, Oprah Winfrey. Um, and what she says is, I know for sure that what we dwell on is who we become. Um, when you're in the middle of that rawness of having a diagnosis like fibromyalgia along with adrenal fatigue, when you're suffering with the things like brain fog where all of a sudden you can't recall information anymore, you can't even remember your friend's baby that was born three weeks ago and what their name was, or you forget that somebody, um, not close to you, but somebody might have passed away and you kind of go, what, they passed away? Like all these things that you think are just locked in there and you can recall all of them all of a sudden you just feel really confused and like you can't remember anything you can't learn things as well as you used to and I used to be a good learner um and you know and on top of that you're dealing with muscle fatigue you're dealing with exhaustion you're dealing with extreme pain and for me I describe fibro as the invisible illness nobody can see it and if they could if they could see everywhere that it hurt and everywhere that it affected you would be black and blue with bruises absolutely everywhere. That's what it would look like if people could actually see it. But it's so hard that it's an invisible illness. Um, but there isn't any noticeable swelling. There isn't something that's noticeably broken. You are just hurting all over. 
um, outside and in, and it's an intense experience. So it was pretty heavy going there for a while to sit with this new diagnosis and just go, oh. and again, I had to move through that anger of, great, now I've got two illnesses that are all because of what he put me through. But I really had to turn that around and go, I've got two illnesses because of what I went through and let go of that blame. And, you know, it was a choice that I had made as well. Um, so it's all about retrospect and it's about having enough distance to look back and go, that's okay, that was a lesson or that's something that I've learned. Fibro was a hard pill to swallow um, and still is, but I am totally up to a level where I can function better than some of the people that I work or see or know that don't have any illnesses and don't have any other things that they have to battle on a daily basis and they still struggle in their jobs or struggle in their daily lives more than I do. So I'm very, very blessed that I've been taken on this journey and given the tools and the wisdom and the amazing um, lessons that I've learnt to be able to cope with it and that is my gift that I want to now take out into the world. I feel it's my life's purpose to now help support other people that are going through um, similar situations and so this is kind of the point of these videos is to let you get to know me a little bit and to help to encourage you to see that um, you know with the help of a health coach like myself and having a beautiful tribe around you and learning a few things about what you can make changes to in your lifestyle um, to support your mind body and soul are all so important on your path to wellness and that I can help you get some function back again and um, help you get some control back again because that's one of the most insulting things as soon as you feel like you've lost control over your own body it's pretty confronting so um, yeah please feel free to keep following my 30 day video challenge please share these videos with people that you think could benefit from them just get them out into the world um, it can't help it can only spread some encouragement some positivity and some understanding and that's not a bad thing um, please check out my website which is here um, and have an amazing fruitful beautiful laughter filled day until I see you again thanks for joining me see you lovelies